head on over here and we go to something that's a total contrast. You can always feel it walking into the room. The, yeah, we suddenly can calm. breathe again. <laughs> and it's not, if that was a party, we're, we're, in a, we're, in a, we're almost in a, in a meditative, contemplative place here. Yeah. And we're with the artist. We're very lucky today to have Jenny Lawson with us, who is the artist of this fantastic work. I mean, there's so much detail and attention to detail that's gone into this work. Well, what can you tell us about this work, Jenny? You know, how long did it take to set this up? Um, well, it's been a, a major process uh, over months, actually. And uh, even then, I was pressured with time because I'm working with plaster, making moulds, um, and these final stages are porcelain pots as well. So there's, there's a lot of time concept. Um, and in you know the times that we're living in at the moment, they're full of time concept. We've been given some luxury of lots of time to uh, consider what we're doing with our lives. And this is just a focus on something meditated to spot these little moments, even in our domain. You start running, as I like to call them. Yeah. And uh, so is this, is yes. this a, wall, a domestic space? Is it, so is it this is my uh, large sash oh, window, okay. and that's what the frame is. Yeah. It's my sash window. Um, this layers a story. Yeah. And um, then you've got the movement of light in a projection film. Um, and then this, you know, this form as well. And what, what happens is this light and shadow um, really makes you take heed of, of the forms that you're looking at and distorted forms yeah. as well. And I think yeah. there's lots of layers of stories, uh, especially the domestic stories. Yeah. And everyone who's going to view this is going to have a very different experience and story to tell of their domestic. I think what's so successful about it is you, you've absolutely captured that feeling Good. of Thank when you. you're sitting there not really thinking about anything in particular in a domestic space. Yes. And you do fixate on objects like that. They become very important. They become, yes. You almost don't see them to it. That's it. And yeah. that way that you're drawing attention to it mm. by this, this, this kind of, there's something quite exquisite the way, about the way you've put these together. I think it does it extremely powerfully. I think it becomes, a, a, yeah. like you say, a powerful meditation idea of That's time right. and how we mark time and, and this idea of space. Yeah, and focus as well. Um, you know, we live in a, a world of mental awareness all the time. We're thinking about our mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the focus on what we've had to deal with, especially in this last year, you know, with this play. Yeah. And, um, this hand sanitizer, so it's where we've had to. And making new habits as well, like the milk bottles represent the new habits we might have made okay. during lockdown as well, right. in yes. carefulness yes. of yes. how much we go out yeah. into the world. And I mean, the other thing, the talk, I, I really find this very <laughs> interesting, like it's yeah. talking about the riot of colour in Helen's yeah, exactly. space. The, could you tell me a bit about what? how you got to this grave because I think it's a very yeah. interesting story. It is. So if you look into the, um, the still, we have different shades of grey and I actually got the colours mixed. So I did have three and the paler grey for the contrast. Yeah. It's that essence of shadows and contrast, um, the build of light. Um, I, I did. I was looking at darker colours, you see, but they yeah. were too dark, and also it takes away from the the wonderful and uh, very vivid yeah. shadow no, cast. It, it just works so well. I, I thought well, the way it really brings everything into focus and actually brings out the different whites is yeah. it's really really strong actually, and just that that sort of keying it to the shadows. I love that way that, that trying to capture something is transient as a That's shadow. Right, yeah. It's got a lovely overlap with that, which is, is very satisfying to. to to engage with. And I, I think the projection on there as well about the, the daffodils, is there anything you can say? About this has been sped up. It's, um, I was recording this sequence of the light moving across and it was from about uh, four o'clock, no sorry, about three, three, half three in the daytime, in the afternoon, through to about six o'clock. Um, so obviously for installation purposes, but also to see that dramatic movement of what the light does. So it's a 10 minute sequence now. Um, but it is the light movement yeah. amongst the drama of uh, yeah. what life we've been through as well. 
but I think it's a really successful piece, so congratulations to you and thanks for your time. So let's move on. So the next phase that we have, unfortunately, Julie can't. Uh, Julie Wilmot's space here. I'm sure she won't mind us filming uh, without her being here. And I mean, just to talk about that, since since she's not here, just to 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 give a bit of detail on it. Um, it is about domestic space again. So there's a there's a good overlap with um, the two previous works we've had. In this space, it's actually there's much more tension here. That if you read these these stained cloths, that, that there's some very evocative words here. Um, it's about breaking point. It's about um, there's something kind of uh, about violence occurring in here as well. That we can see that with the smashed crockery, the the table. So it's a very powerful piece, and um, it speaks from the heart. That it, it's it's something that is. Um, a lot of people can um, connect with and I think the connections to that are all very interesting. That said, the work that's going on here, that I know that these are stains actually, that there's wine stains and coffee stains, but there's a really interesting link to painting going on there. That there's some, some very um, nice moments where it overlaps with a certain type of abstract painting that, that, that was familiar in the 60s. Um, so something very interesting to try and mix those ideas of fine art with the psychological as well in Julie's work. So thank you Julie for your work. Sorry you can't be here today.